Hello, I'm Jacob and this is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I usually have a schedule for my YouTube channel and I have a lot of stuff that I really uh, want to do that I feel like I need to do. And today I'm just gonna throw that out the window and do something that is completely off the wall, but uh, it's what I wanna do. Um, as you guys probably know, I know a lot of knife makers. I like a lot of knife makers. I work with a lot of knife makers. And I wanted to share with you today some knife makers that I think uh, they're gonna be my favorite knife makers of 2018 and they're knife makers that I hope to work with uh, in 2019 at least some of them some of them are grail knives that are outside of my realm of possibilities uh, I'm here today oops with Patton Patton what are you doing yeah Kimber Scudley and Dixie all right, uh, I have to have a piece of paper for these names because uh, honestly, I might forget one of them if I didn't have a piece of paper and I can't even pr pronounce one of the names. So um, obviously Peter Kohler is on this list, Dark Timber Custom Knives, a little bit out of my league right now. I do have one of them and he does incredible work. Um, and like that, I'm gonna give a quick synopsis of the makers on this list and I'm gonna show you a picture. Um, but I think most of my viewers are probably familiar with Dark Timber Custom Knives. Oh, one more thing. Guys, you know, I think that um, we need to try and support the small makers as much as we can, especially ones that are small and struggling that do good work. And so please check out all of the links in the description box below to all of these makers. Please give them a follow on whatever um, social media you use and check them out, look at their prices and give them a consider and hopefully, give them a consider, hopefully uh, I'll bring some names to you that you've never heard of before and that you'll love. Um, so uh, one is Paul LaRocca. Paul LaRocca, uh, I, I've done videos on his knives and work before. Uh, he's a single guy making knives, not single, I just, you know what I mean. Uh, just a little shop making knives and a uh, great guy does awesome work and I think that he undersells himself uh, by a large margin um, just really good working blades um, one that I've been really interested in lately and is going bigger uh, he is full-time just got a shop together is tactical pterodactyl knives they're really cool he's got a unique style most of it is more EDC fashionable not fashionable but more of it's more of it's just more trendy than what I normally like but all of it looks utilitarian and uh, I think it'd be fun doing some kind of bushcraft utility knife from them or an EDC knife I don't know all right triple J knife works I hope to do a, a YouTube video with triple J pretty soon uh, great knives great guy incredible fit and finish and I think a lot more people need to be following him on social media. Um, so, let's see, how am I gonna... The next few are a little bit harder for me. Oh, TM Hunt, uh, most of you know him for his M18, but he has a lot of other really uh, utilitarian blades uh, that just look so comfy. I really like TM Hunt knives, a lot of them. I didn't used to follow him too closely because they used to associate themselves with a guy that I didn't like that trolled this channel, but uh, that is not the case anymore, and it really wasn't their fault anyways. I just didn't like that guy and associated their company with him. This goat is a ridiculous beast. Okay, back on top. Okay, the next few are kind of difficult. Um, I don't know what I'm going to say about them, really. Uh, because they're they're next level kind of like peter kohler maybe not as popular definitely different i'm not saying that they're the same as peter kohler but but they are like uh they're they're all grail knives um all of the guys that i've mentioned so far are awesome knives that the average working guy can pick up and and don't have a super long wait list or whatever i don't know um the, the next guys are kind of like kind of like the i don't know awesome they're just uh andrew jordan is a guy that i just found out of the netherlands i saw one of his knives he doesn't even do instagram but i saw one of his knives like freaking a year ago 
and asked who made it and I just got a reply like yesterday and I looked at the dude's knives just floored me absolutely floored me wow uh, just beautiful uh, okay enough on that uh, Zabari custom knives I actually came into uh, Amir Zabari uh, because I was like uh, freaking Israel's cool and I wonder if anybody makes cool knives out of Israel because they make lots of cool stuff and uh, the coolest dude I found was Zabari he does awesome work I mean I love his style really cool bowies um, and let's see the last one one that I'm really stoked about too um, really epic stuff and I can't pronounce the name I think it's uh, Zygot handmade knives it's S Z C Z E G O T. I think it's Saigot. But uh, man, every time his work pops up on my Instagram feed, I'm just blown away. So uh, hopefully, I just introduced you to somebody that's going to be a, a game changer for me. Basically, all of these guys are game changers for me. And uh, I hope to show you at least a few of them in 2019. I'm going to try and find a way to make that happen. So, like I said, all of their links that I'll be able to find will be in the description box below. Please check these guys out, and please share this video. I know it's not the best one, but, uh, you know, help a guy out, and that's what I want to do is, is uh, like, Zabari Custom Knives, the dude just started out, and he's got, like, no followers, but he's got skills. And I'm really hoping to get my hands on one pretty soon. So, definitely, like, all of these guys... I think are super solid. I can't uh, speak on any of their quality yet, except for Peter Kohler and uh, Paul LaRocca, because uh, I've worked with them. But uh, the rest of the guys, I haven't used their stuff yet. Some of them, I've got a lot of uh, people have told me about them, and I believe that they would be good, and a lot of them I just believe are going to be solid just from whatever. But anyways... Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know uh, if one of these dudes really knocks your socks off in the description box below. Let's talk about it. Uh, and uh, I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.